In this video, we'll take you through the steps required to connect your Android smartphone or tablet to the PowerShot G9X Mark II. We'll start by downloading the Canon Camera Connect app from Google Play before configuring the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections. Finally, we'll go through the basic features of the app and make sure everything's working as it should. All up, it should take about 5 to 10 minutes to get up and running. If you're following along with your own Android device, you may need to pause or replay the video every now and again. Let's get started. First up, we need to download and install the app. Head on over to Google Play and search for Canon Camera Connect. It's completely free. For it to work properly, the app requires access to your photos as well as your GPS, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections. You'll also need to accept the license agreement before setting up and using the app. Now it's time to open up the app and configure the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections. You can browse the welcome screens or just cut to the chase by tapping the skip button. Now this bit's really important so don't tap anything just yet. We're going to tap the close button here and show you the fastest way to connect. Make sure you're on this screen. Turn on the camera and then press the menu button. Next go to the fourth tab of the function settings menu which looks like a little spanner. Now go to wireless settings so that we can enable the camera's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The first thing we need to do on this screen is to set the name that the camera will be known by on your device. To do that, hit the nickname menu, then tap G9XM2. You can keep the name as it is, or use the keypad to change it to something else. Press the Menu OK button, then select Menu again to return to the wireless settings screen. Now go to the Bluetooth settings menu and select the pairing option. Head back to your Android mobile device, making sure that the Canon Camera Connect app is still open. In a short space of time, the app will detect the camera's Bluetooth signal. Tap on the camera's name. The camera will then ask you to approve the connection. Once you've done this, both the camera and your device will confirm that a successful Bluetooth pairing has been made. Let's just check everything's working. Tap the Bluetooth remote controller option. Point the camera at a subject and tap the on-screen shutter button. The camera captures a photo which is saved to the memory card on the camera. You can view that photo by going back to the main screen of the app and tapping the images on camera button. In order to do this, the Bluetooth connection hands control over to Wi-Fi, which does a better job of handling more data-intensive functions. Wait for a few moments while this Wi-Fi connection is established automatically in the background. Once the connection is made, you'll see thumbnails of all the images that are stored on the memory card in your camera. You can browse these images and even download them to your smartphone. They're saved in the Photos app, meaning that you can share them just as you would with any other photo. Another feature you can use is Remote Live View. This builds on the Bluetooth remote controller function by enabling you to see a real-time view of what the camera is seeing. Go back to the main menu of the app by pressing the arrow at the top left of the screen. Hit the Remote Live View Shooting button. Point the camera at a subject. Using the app, you can focus on an object in the frame and take a picture by tapping the on-screen Shutter Release button. Now, there's one last thing we want to show you, and that's how to properly end the Wi-Fi session and hand the connection back to Low Energy Bluetooth. On the main screen of the app, press the Close Wi-Fi Connection button, which appears as a small cross to the right of the camera icon. After a short while, you'll see that the Bluetooth connection is active again. Next time you want to access the on-camera images or use Remote Live View, you won't need to enter the Wi-Fi password as your device will have it stored in memory. This means there's no need to do anything when you see this screen, apart from wait for the 15 to 20 seconds or so that it takes for the Wi-Fi connection to re-establish. Well, that's about it. We hope you found this video useful and that you're looking forward to using Canon Camera Connect with your PowerShot G9X Mark II.